how to live trace in Adobe Illustrator. We are going to learn today how to live trace a sketch in Adobe Illustrator automatically and these are the leaves that we are going to be creating from my pencil sketch. This is a part two of a video series where we are going to explore how to live trace in Adobe Illustrator and the, in the series we are creating a sketch to vector elements to repeat pattern design um, artwork. All right. So in the part one of this video series, we learned how to turn sketches into vector elements, vector leaves by hand using a pen tool, paintbrush tool and blob brush tool. So please check that video out as well. And coming soon is a part three in the video, how to create vector repeat pattern using the elements that we've been creating. All right. So. So the method we are going to use is we will going to take a photo of your sketch uh, and I already have a photo and the second step is going to be we are going to place our sketch in the new Adobe Illustrator file. I have a new Illustrator file open and I'm going to go to file place and I'm going to place my sketch and I'm going to make it a little smaller so that it's easier to see. There you go. All right. If you can see here, this is a raster image. Let's hop back into our steps to see what we can do now. Now we're going to select our sketch and click on live trace. This is what we are going to do. So I selected with the black arrow tool. Uh, and now you can see here you have a few options. You can go right on top of your Illustrator me menu and you will see image trace right here. We will click on it and uh, it's this is what is, it gives us. So basically it's just not working for us very well. But we are going to go next. What we are going to do is we are going to go to select the preset a uh, high fidelity photo. And this is where we are going to find our presets. Presets are on the left of the uh, tracing result. All right. And here's our high fidelity photo. It's under default. And now it's going to work a little bit uh, on our sketch. And we are going to see our result very quickly. There you go. Now we have our uh, sketch. This is actually already a preview of a vector image. So if in tracing results you can click on source image. This was our sketch raster and this is how it turned into vector. Okay, it's, you can still, it, it looks still like a raster image because to turn it into vector, editable vector, you can expand your uh, traced image. To do that, we are going to click on expand right here. Convert tracing objects into paths. Expand. And now it looks like a big mess. <laughs> so uh, don't worry, we will clean up this mess very quickly. So if you deselect, this is how it looks like now. It's one big group. All right. What we're going to do next is we're going to clean up and group our elements. Step six. All right. Uh, what I do personally is I take the magic tool Y, magic, excuse me, magic wand tool Y. And if you double click on it, you will see tolerance. So if you go to the pa panel, you will see tolerance. And I like to set it to 10 for this particular case, but we can adjust it. I click on the, with the wand tool, I click on the gray uh, background or any background that you have on your sketch and delete what I um, just selected. And you can see that it worked pretty well. Uh, the rest I'm going to clean up. Let me go out of this one. I'm going to, to clean up with the direct selection tool. We are going to just marquee around this area and around this area. So basically to check if what, what we have uh, left is we are going to just comment A and select everything and just see any little thing that we need to clean up. All right. Now we are going to have these three leaves together. 
what we're going to do next is step seven color the elements but actually I still need to group them so first we are going to ungroup with all of them selected I uh, pre press on the right button on my uh, mouse and go to ungroup all right next we are going to you can see that everything now is a big mess so if I click it's just tiny little pieces and I will show you a little bit close up to check what's going on in your file you can go to view uh, outline or view GPU preview when you want to go to colors so this is a big mess that Illustrator created for us in the trace so we're going to clean it up and make it much better all right first of all we are going to uh, group these leaves separately first uh, take this lasso tool Q and marquee around the leaf and hit command G group marquee around the other leaf group and marquee around this leaf group all right now it's much better because they are grouped and we can even move the leaves now we are going to color these uh, leaves with the black arrow tool we click on the leaf then we ma make sure that the fill is selected and we click on the color the same here different color and another different color so you can see that we have our uh, textured kind of rough drawing elements created and if we want to clean them up even more we can use eraser tool and go into and clean these little pieces up uh, I kind of like the textured feel uh, that this uh, preset produced so I am pretty satisfied with it but if you want you can actually definitely clean up your elements and do a lot of adjustments at this point but these are the leaves that uh, we came up with and uh, next and the last step in our process is to use Pathfinder to clean up the shapes so what do I mean by that uh, as I showed you before if we select you can see there are so many tiny dots and if you want to create prepare your pattern for uh, microstock uh, for sale on microstock websites these all kinds of tiny dots might not be might not be accepted and because the artwork might be very very large once you uh, create your repeat patterns with this uh, these elements so my method is to go to select the element and then go to pathfinder shape mode and click on unite and this produces much cleaner element do you see this is you can see this in comparison to these and actually in this mode is it even more fun to see how uh, cleaner the elements look now this of course works if you want to keep the elements one color uh, but this is basically a method that I like to use that is that still gets accepted to uh, for sale on microstock websites so these are the leaves that we created all right let's see so uh, as I wanted to show you the comparison with the v first video the in this series part one and part two these two are uh, two different types of elements this one we traced by hand in illustrator and this one is a live trace tool so just something to think about using different styles all right so which tracing method in Adobe Illustrator is your favorite live trace or tracing by hand uh, please share in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going all right thank you so much for watching this video series please check out other videos in this series there might be more than three just check in the description and in the info cards below if you like this video please like it and uh, subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful thank you so much once again grow love and create bye